Hello, this is Lachim Kantiwari. Today we are going to have a tutorial on the STM32 F7 board. So this is the STM32 F7 board. Uh, it has a Cortex M7 microcontroller. The Cortex M7 is the most advanced microcontroller in the series of the Cortex M controllers. So the especially the Cortex M7 has twice the DSP power of the as Cortex M4 by executing twice as many instructions simultaneously and it also helps that the Cortex M7 can operate at higher clock frequency than also the Cortex M4 and uh, also it is backed by the KLCMC's DSP library which can be utilized to solve the complex DSP problems and also it was developed to provide a low cost platform that meets the needs of the MCU implementation with the reduced pin counts and the low power consumptions while delivering the outstanding computational performance and the low interrupt latency and also you can also use two Cortex M7 calls in lock step running the same code and one following the two clock cycles behind the others so that the glitches can be detected by the external electronics if the two CPUs sudden behave the slightly different. Hmm. And also there are some other features which this Cortex M7 microcontroller includes such as uh, the ARM Cortex M7 features a six stage dual issue superscalar pipeline with the single and the double precision floating point units which can execute two instructions at a time whereas the Cortex M4 can execute just one instruction at one time and uh, this is where most of the speed up comes from and the Cortex M7 can run at a higher clock frequency than the Cortex M4 and together this gives an average two times uplift in the DSP performance for a Cortex M7 over a Cortex M4. So the uh, we have already discussed the core, uh, core and uh, its features. So now let's discuss the, what this microcontroller has. So first of all that this microcontroller is STM32F 746 NGH6U. It has uh, 4 I2C, 6SPI and uh, 3 multiplex simpler I2S and the uh, SD host controller 4 USRT and 4 UART. The 2 can that is the the 2 can uh, 3 12 bit DC and 2 12 bit DAC, 2 SAI and the 8 to 14 bit digital camera module interface and uh, there is an internal 320 plus 16 plus 4 kps ram and 1 megabyte flash memory and usb high speed otg usb full speed otg and the ethernet mac fmc interface quad spi interface and the swd debugging capability okay so the full range of the hardware features on the board helps to evaluate the almost all peripherals such as a usb otg high speed full speed ethernet micro sd card uart audio deck and and uh, all other features such as the mems digital microphones sd ram quad spi flash 4.3 uh, lcd touch screens huh? so all these uh, features you can utilize on this board and uh, there is also uh, audio no you know version 3 connectors so uh, this one is the stlink version 2.1 connector and this one is the also the stm32 f103 cortex m3 microcontroller these are the two usb the usb full speed and the usb high speed these are the micro ab connector and this one is the mini ab connector here you can see the mini AB and the micro AB connectors and uh, this one is the Ethernet connectors and here it is the audio input and uh, audio out this one is the audio codec and uh, here it is a voltage regulator LDO that is a linear dropout regulators and this one is the ST RAM uh, this is the ob obviously microcontroller and uh, this one is the I2C connectors and here uh, this one is the SPIF input RCA connectors, parallel camera connectors, 8 bit or 16 14 bits, uh, micro SD connectors, and the SD host controller is here. And this one is the quad SPI flash. These are the audio no headers where you can connect the audio no seeds. This one is the uh, USB controllers for the full speed and the high speed USB controllers. 
and uh, this one is the obviously we have discussed so ST-Link version 2.1 controller and here you can give your external power supply 5 volt and the ground okay and uh, this is the uh, these are the two buttons user buttons and the reset buttons and there are a five power supply options are available here the first one you need to connect here jumper when you are using external 5 volt the second one here jumper is connected you can see the jumper is connected here second one uh, when you are using a power supply from the ST link and when you are using power supply from the USB full speed then connect this jumper and connect this jumper when you want to use a power supply from the USB high speed and this is also a voltage regulator LDO and here it is a 4.3 inch TFT touch screen and here these are the two ST memes microphones